President Aquino today led the ceremonial turnover of new assault rifles to soldiers as part of the AFP's modernization program. In his speech, the president said the AFP's days as feared executioners are over, alluding to the recent arrest of retired Army General Jovito Palparan. Ina Andolong reports to us from Camp Aguinaldo. Hi, Ina. My President Aquino led the ceremonial distribution of assault rifles to the Philippine Army and the Marine troops this morning. The firearms distribution may is part of the ongoing modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines. Under the program, more than 50,000 M4 5.56 assault rifles will replace the older models of M16 assault rifles being used by the troops. President Aquino says the new rifles are just among the first steps in the government's long-term initiatives to boost the AFP these capabilities. With the right bidding procedures, he says the government was able to save 1.2 billion pesos in the purchase of, of the weapons, which cost the government a total of almost 2 billion pesos. The commander-in-chief appealed to the troops to take care of their new weapons so that they last for a long time. The president stressed also that unlike before May, the government is now determined to address the needs of the AFP, which has helped transform the image of the institution. He discussed the recent arrest of former General Jovito Palparan, who he says will now be able to properly defend himself from the allegations raised against him. If the AFP, if AFP members were once feared as quote my verdugos or butchers, he says they are now looked at with much respect and trust by the people. Now, AFP Chief General Gregorio Pio Catapang admits the Army and the Navy have been using outdated rifles. He said today's event is much needed, considering that the last procurement of AFP rifles happened from 1974 to 1987. Since then, and apart from the rifles given to the AFP by the United States in the 1990s, he says there's been really no major acquisition of, rifle, of rifles. He pointed out that they need to match soldiers' skills with the right weaponry so that they can properly address enemies of the state. The rifles, which were sourced from a weapons company, Remington, in the United States, might will be delivered within the year in two batches. The president, might left immediately after the turnover ceremony, basically evading questions from reporters Mai, who wanted some clarification on his reported statements implying that he's now open to extending his term by another six years. In an interview with a TV network's resident legal analyst yesterday, Mai, he said he's somewhat reconsidering his position against charter change since he feels that the Supreme Court has not been exercising judicial restraint and using its powers to check and balance the actions of the executive and the leg legislative branches. Now, my, it's been over a month since the president took some questions from the Malacanang Press Corps, and right now we're just on standby for a press conference with Presidential Communications Secretary Sani Coloma, who will inevitably have to respond to many questions stemming from the president's pronouncements yesterday. Mike? Ina, his statement on his openness to an extension of his term, this has been generating a lot of talk in many circles. Has this been... Uh, discussed on the sidelines of today's ceremony there in Camp Aguinaldo. Actually, as I just uh, mentioned, we were hoping, many of us were hoping that he would clarify further some of his statements in his uh, interview yesterday, especially since um, the members of the Manakanyang Press Corps were not given a transcript of uh, the interview, which means uh, we really cannot give a clear context of uh, how he was questioned during the interview. But again, uh, he refused or didn't grant us an interview. We were told that maybe next week he will be ready to answer some questions about his uh, statements, again, expressing that he's now open to extending for another term. Mm -hmm. Mai? Ina, did the press corps try to get the AFP's reaction to this? Uh, my, I think uh, members of the Defense Press Corps may likely get um, the reaction of the AP chief regarding that. For now, we have yet to get information on their position on uh, the, ish the issue. All right. Thank you, Ina. Ina Andolong, they're reporting to us from Camp Aguinaldo.